Hello viewers, what's up? And I am Anmol Samsung and welcome to ARS Biologicals. So in this video, I am going to show you how to make a pooter, also known as an insect aspirator for insect collection. So if you have watched my video, my recent video on basic things needed for insect collection, you will be able to understand the pooter properly. So I am going to make a pooter with common household materials which you can obtain from your house so let's get started so to make an insect pooter you will be going to need a straw a scissor cello tape a nail a plier a bottle plastic bottle sting it's a sting bottle and a marker and a flexible pipe like this. So, as you all can see, I've made a structure of an aspirator. So, aspirator has two pipes. Uh, one is for the mouth. So, in which you can join your buccal cavity. So, suppose this is me, for instance. I'm not a good artist, but Suppose this is me holding this. The one pipe is for the buccal cavity, your mouth, and let's label it mouth pipe. And another pipe is for catching the specimens or the insects. So let's call it specimen pipe. Specimen pipe. So, your aspirator has two pipes with a hollow space inside each under which the insects can fall. So, you have to join your mouth through one pipe and through another pipe your insect will enter. Suppose this is your ant walking and when you inhale this, inhale this pipe, inhale the air from this pipe, your ant will directly travel through this root and land up into the hollow space. So he has, he see has landed inside the hollow space as you can see here. So I'm going to show you how to use it also. So let's move to its construction part. So you have to measure the breadth of the pipe. So with the help of a marker, you have to make a small diorama or I don't know what it's called small type of so so our pipe is this much the breadth of the pipe is this much so let's the flexible pipe has this much of breadth and let's see the straw okay the straw is little bit smaller so this straw will be our mouth pipe and this flexible pipe will be our specimen pipe. So draw those holes in the opposite side. So the mouth pipe is here and the specimen pipe is here. So now I'm taking a nail and a plier. I'm holding the nail with a plier. Now we have to heat it in the LPG gas or any kind of Bunsen burner, anything or simply candle, spirit lamp, anything. So, I forgot to mention you that you are also going to need small piece of cloth so through which you can cover the mouth pipe so the dust particles and insects, small insects will not get into your mouth. Just like this you have to cover. I'm going to show you. So you have to keep your straw in that cloth like this and fold it like this. Make it tight. So like this. Like this and just like this. Like this, like this. Like this. 
so I've covered the mouth pipe with like this the straw like this and I'm going to take the silly tape and stick it around now we've got this and I'm going to and please make the make one hole bigger so the mouth pipe and the cloth can easily get in it now we we got thing like this and let's put the another pipe which is a specimen pipe just like this now we'll keep it like this and I'm going to take the cello tape and fix it fix the remaining gaps Ta-da! our DIY insect putter is ready <laughs> yes it's looking weird but it really works yes it works just as an professional one so suppose think for instance this is our ends so I'm going to take my mouth my buccal cavity to this mouth pipe and place the specimen pipe here so see here on me so again you can see again <laughs> yeah it's kind of fun you know as you can see i've got uh, there are no paper paper bits now i'm taking it out <laughs> isn't it cool so our diy Putter or an aspirator is ready. So now let's go to the field and catch some live insects. So now this pesky ants are going to be inside my trap. So as you can see these ants now. They are all so you can use this insect aspirator or a pooter to catch fragile insects which can <laughs> which can brush too and you touch with your hands just like if it's you have touched some aphids yeah I think anytime you have touched or seen aphids they uh, they will burst when you touch them <laughs> with your finger so Fragile insects, delicate insects can be caught with this insect aspirator. So, thank you for watching my videos. Please, if you are new to my channel, subscribe to my channel and like all the videos. So, let's see you in my next video. This much for today.